Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Nasi TV nga pala at kung nakakatulong sa pag-aaral mo ang channel na ito, please subscribe, like, share at kung may mga suggestion ka, please comment down below in the comment section. Okay, so ngayon ay integral of hyperbolic function at ito yung ating mga formula. So nakalatag na dito at uh, tignan niyo na lang no. So magpo-proceed tayo sa mga example. So I have three example here. So ito yung ating una example which is the what is the integral of cos x uh, all over hyperbolic of cos squared minus 1. Okay? So dito kung paano natin uh, first natin gagawin is analyze muna natin yung ating problem kung meron tayong mga identities since uh, trigonometric din to which is hyperbolic lam, no? So ngayon nakikita natin yung ating cos squared minus 1 is meron siyang identities from the Pythagorean relationship relation na sin sin squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. Then kung ita-transpose natin yung ating formula okay so <clears throat> kung ito transpose natin para makuha natin yung cos squared minus 1 so magkakaroon tayo ng sine I iwan natin yung ating sine squared okay so is equal to uh, 1 minus cos squared okay so uh, same din siya dito sa ating cos squared minus 1 okay so basically papalitan natin siya ng magiging cos x papalitan natin siya ng sine squared since nakuha natin to okay sine squared so dito para ma-integrate natin so ihiwalay lang natin yung sine squared so magkaroon tayo ng cos x okay hyperbolic ng cos then at hyperbolic ng sine x then magwan tayo ng mag over tayo dito ng sine x para sin x hyperbolic na sin x times hyperbolic na sin x magkaroon tayo ng uh, sin squared which is x okay then uh, dito meron tayong identities kailangan talaga alam natin yung mga trigonometric identities which is cos x all over sin x is meron tayong cotangent okay cot x. Okay? Then, dito naman, meron ulit tayo itong identities na 1 over sin x is meron tayong cosecant. Cosecant. Since hyperbolic tayo, may h, may h lagi. X. Okay? So, ito na yung ating panibagong equation na inaating i-integrate. So, the integral of cotangent cosecant is basically simple, simply negative cosecant x plus c. Okay? So, ito na yung ating magiging answer. Okay? Next problem. Okay, next problem natin is what is the integral of x squared cosecant squared x cubed dx? Okay? So, i-integrate natin siya. So, uh, dito, sa una natin gagawin, isahanapin muna natin yung ating u, which is yung u natin is x cubed. Okay? So, u natin is x cubed. Then, anapin, kunin natin yung derivative ng x cubed, which is 3x. Okay? So, meron tayong 3x. I-over natin sa 3. Then, 3. Para makakancel natin yung ating x cubed. Ay, uh, x squared. Since, meron tayong uh, 3x. 3x squared to. 3x squared. Uh, para makancel natin. Since, may balancing tayo na 3. So, kailangan, tanggalin natin yung, para magkaroon dapat tayo ng 1 third para mabalance natin dito sa ating x squared. Okay? So, dito, cancel natin. So, magkakaroon tayo ng du over 3 is equal to x squared. O since, uh, yung du is 1 third. Okay? So, basically, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 third. Then, the in cancel natin yung ating x, x squared. Okay? So, kunin natin yung cosecant squared x cubed. Then, the integral of cosecant squared x cubed is, so basically, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 third. Then, the integral of cosecant uh, squared x cubed is <coughs> negative cotangent. So, negative cot x cubed. Okay? Then, uh, negative para ma uh, multiply din sa 1 third. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 third. Negative 1 third. Then, copy natin yung cotangent na hyperbolic x cubed plus c. 
Okay, so ito na yung ating magiging answer. Next problem po. Okay, uh, next problem is what is the integral of square root of y cosecant y3 half cotangent y raised to 3 half dy. Okay, so since ganito, katulad nung ginawa ko nung number 2, ang kukunin natin yung, yung, yung ating u, which is yung u natin is y3 half. Okay, raised to 3 half. So yung u natin is y raised to 3 half. Then kunin natin yung derivative, du is... Uh, 3 half ng y, then 3 half uh, minus 1 is 1 half. Okay? So, makakaroon tayo ng 1 half. Since uh, yung square root ng y is 1 half, pwede natin siya makancel and meron tayong balancing factor na 3 half. So, uh, babalik tayo yung natin. So, makakaroon tayo ng over 1. So, 2 times d, uh, d u is 1. So, 2 times 1. So, makakaroon tayo 2. Then, 1 times 3 is 2 third then uh, magkakaroon tayong y 1 half okay so para makansin natin yung ating y square root of y so makakunin natin yung basically 2 third okay then kunin natin yung cosecant ng y 3 half cotangent cotangent ng y 3 half Okay, raise sya, dy. Then, uh, i-integrate na natin sya. So, basically, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 third. Then, integration, <coughs> integral ng cosecant cotangent is cosecant. Negative cosecant. Ng y. Raise to 3 half. Okay? Then, uh, multiply natin. So, magkakaroon tayo negative 2 third cosecant y 3 half plus c. Okay? So, ito na yung ating magiging final answer. Okay? So, kung may mga tanong kayo, suggestion, uh, comment lang kayo sa comments section below. Okay? So, maraming salamat. Ito lang po yung ating hyperbolic uh, function. Integral of hyperbolic function.